<coughs> Excuse me. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, beautiful world. This is Faris Al Hajri, PhD. AM. I am from Oman, or simply, it's a Sultanate of Oman, the Arabian Peninsula. But we are here in Virginia for the last five years. Since 2015, I've moved here with my family, particularly here in um, our lo the location of our Hawk Awareness Office in Virginia Tech Corporate Research Center, the 2010 International Award winning uh, international Park, an international research park by AURP, Association of University Research Park. It is located here in Virginia, in Blacksburg, and uh, it's about 180 80 acres with its own uh, airport. The good thing is that being here part of the VTCRC, Virginia Tech Corporate Research Center, because of the lo lot of uh, privileges being collaborated with the Virginia Tech Polytechnic and State University, in addition to a lot of privileges since the, the, the motto of the Virginia Tech Corporate Research Center is to enhance uh, the startup businesses. So all the businesses that are located here, most of the business are related to research and development. And since our initiative uh, highlight as a top priority is research and development. So there are a lot of uh, privileges that would benefit by attending a lot of lectures, seminars, a lot of initiative and a lot of experts in the field of business as business consultant, business strategy planners, uh, corporate lawyers and uh, various professional personalities who provide lot of uh, assistance to be part of the, as being part of the Virginia Tech Corporate Research Center uh, tenant. So we found a lot of uh, privileges that give us to understand that life truly is a school that has an endless process of learning. So every day we learn and learn and learn. And uh, the other issue is that as we try to work hard after 13 consecutive years of success, finding a wonderful, very promising, optimistic result from the beneficiaries, people who have been using the hot water therapy, aqua revitalized therapy. Revitalized is to reinstate the humans being back to its stage of uh, its stage of uh, the physical emotional mental and spiritual so based on that we understand that human has a lot of privilege to achieve every person is unique including you who is watching this video every human being so the reason we do this record is part of our motivation because motivation is part of the wellness industry, part of our initiative, part of our motto since we focus in enhancing the human's wellness lifestyle in four aspects of health. The physical, the emotional, the mental and spiritual health. So particularly this video we highlight the so-called the historical stone of life. Why do we call it the historical stone of life? Let me go to the point. Every human being goes through the process of from the childhood, passing through adolescence, and so on and growing throughout the life of the human being is passing through, including you. So as, as a child, you find a child start to play with things that you know want to explore every day. A child is not trying to touch everything, try to play with everything, but a child needs to be under supervision of an adult. But that child has a vision, started to like he has a vision of who or who she or he want to be in the future. So he start to kind of trying to explore.
And when I'm saying this, I try to remember when I was a child looking at the stars and say, when I grow older, my wish is to find something, to discover something simple that can heal my mother and heal the world. I never knew that the universe is there to re listen and to respond to my plea when I grew up, but I went through challenge. And that challenge was to, for me to explore, to find out. So as you go through challenge from childhood, adolescent, and so on, but you keep on exploring, you keep on learning, and there are many res resources where you grab the information, the knowledge from the school, from the parents, from the community, from the society, from various parts, in the, irrespective of where you live. You'll always find that you are still exploring to discover, to find out the so-called, the huge puzzle of life. That your picture, the clarity of the picture of who you want to be, every day there is one puzzle that is added to the clarity of your picture. Or who you're going to be, it. you're going to be somebody unique. And what I mean here is every human being, irrespective of the gender or even whatever, whoever the, whoever the person, even with the financial potential, whether poor or rich, every person is, uh, is engaged to become very unique. For the reason you look at yourself like you travel and then you, have, you're, you are landing in a place where as a transit, to that airport, and you take a round trip or to that city, and then you continue your journey to where you are embarked, the destination where you are heading. So life resembles to the same thing, that you are here in life, you are just a passenger who pass by and then leave the earth. So as you pass through the ages, you pass through different, different events that make you to fall and you wake up. You fall and you wake up. But as you wake up, you learn a lesson. So you go through what you call challenges of life. But these challenges were not to destroy you. So never, ever blame a teacher or a school or parents and so on when you do not achieve. Remember, you are a student of life. Every day, there is something to learn. And as you learn, you keep on crossing the challenges. So you remember, to, to a student to pass exam has to study very well, has to prepare the homework and all the exams and everything, study very well. Then once you go to the exam, you find it's, you can pass the exam very easily. So that is life. So you need to go through that preparation. As you keep on going through the challenge, those challenges were not to destroy you. We're not to make you a poor person. We're not to, to make you a layman. We're not to make you a failure person. But it's just you need to wake up and keep motivated, keep moving forward. And uh, as one of my mentors here in Blacksburg told me, never quit, Ferris. I remember when we came here to Virginia, the first thing he told me, never quit. Never quit. Because as you move forward, you find challenges. But those challenges are to make you better. So that's why failure is not a, a, a permanent failure. A failure is a process towards greater accomplishment. So you look yourself that you are climbing mountains of life. And so as you keep climbing, you have difficulties. Sometimes you fall down and you wake up and say, I'll keep continuing. I never quit. And as you reach to the peak of the mountain, that means you have achieved a, a certain success, that you're so excited that you have made a great success. You sing, you enjoy, you, you have party, you, whatever you do, you feel that you have achieved, but there is no end to that. There is no end to success. There is no end to leadership irrespective of the what you filled of expertise or what you follow, whether you want to be an engineer, you want to be a doctor, you want to be a scientist, you want to be a business person, businessman, businesswoman, you want to be a politician, you want to be 
there is no limit. There is no limit to success, to leadership. So as you keep, as you reach the first mountain, you're so excited, but after a specific time, you start to realize, wow, there is a next mountain that I need to climb. That means you are going towards the next mountains of success. But there are laws of the nature that teaches us, those laws they teach us to follow the specific principle of life, the basic necessities. For example, you, how are you honest to people? How you to try to participate in things that you can afford and things you don't know, do not try to, to cheat, do not try to lie to people. Say, I don't know, I'm trying my best. People will trust you. So as you build, you serve, you serve the society. You keep on serving, your leadership start to increase because people start to understand who you are in terms of your honesty, in terms of perseverance, in terms of a hard workship, in terms of uh, determination, in terms of visualization, in terms of actualization. So you keep doing the best you could. Be honest. Be straightforward. Don't cheat. You cheat, you are the loser. You just gain temporarily, but what you gain will be a weapon that will destroy you. So be honest, move with the people, respect society, respect people. Do not underestimate the power of any human being, irrespective who is that person. So as you try to serve the society, whether you're an employee, whether you are a leader, whether you are a professor, whether you are a teacher, whether you are a scientist, whether you are a layman, whether you are a worker outside, whatever the job, whatever you do, whatever, even in your business, be honest and be straightforward to what you do to serve the society. As you gain credibility, you gain trust from the people, the surrounding society, they observe you. That is your leadership. That is how you keep on climbing that, those endless mountains of life. So there is a time where you reach a wonderful satis satisfaction, a great leadership that you feel really contented. We could see that prominent people who have achieved highest state of achievement whether in politics, in religion, in society, in science, in whatever the field, whatever the field, you are expertise into it. You are unique of yourself. The moment you reach that kind of a leadership of success, because you have a huge number of people who trust you and who listen to you, then you start to reach what, do, do, uh, what do I believe is so-called the golden age. Usually golden age is like 50 years old, but some people, they may reach even much earlier than that, and some people, they reach quite late to that. So we just put the golden age is 50 years old, but you may be 40, you may be 30, you may be 50, you may be 60, there's no end of that. But the golden age of the success of your leadership is that you have achieved a great leadership, and you are completely satisfied, you have built a very, very strong platform with the people, huge number of people, who listen to you and who trust you. And as you reach there, then you start to realize, oops, I think I need to leave my name engraved in the stone of the history. So you want to leave your name because you know that you are in transit and you'll be going somewhere else. That means when you die, everybody will die. Who will stay in this world? So everybody will die but you will leave a legacy. So that kind of leadership that you achieve, you start to feel that, yeah, I'm so satisfied. I want to live. What did I do to serve the society? So I'm so satisfied that I have a, I have a, I've been honest. I've been so kind. I've been tr hardworking. And I serve the society. And I reach that leadership. Excuse me. Huge secret with how core vitalize. But the brain, hakuit, no more than, is more than hydrate. So I'm hakuiting my body, my cells, including my brain. Hakuit, different to hydrate. Water, oxygen, hydrogen, energy. Think about it. So 
so as you reach that stage of leadership satisfaction, then you start to think. That's why you see prominent people, prominent politicians, prominent scientists, prominent uh, uh, professor, prominent people who achieve those kind of achievement. They start to think they want to leave a name that will, hi uh, history, will witness the achievement in the history throughout the generation, passing one generation to the next. That's why today, history tells us about our ancestors, what they have contributed to make us today who we are in terms of the technological advance, in terms of the healthcare system, in terms of uh, education, in terms of uh, everything. Everything today, life is much better than it used to be before. Don't worry about the coronavirus pandemic, COVID-19. Don't worry. This is going to make a huge change to the history. After this pandemic, the world will be more faster to accelerate than even before. Do not lose hope. There's a lot of hope. The world is always going up, irrespective of whatever. This is a challenge that life is going on. The world is going on. Don't worry that so many people lost jobs, they lost business. This is just temporary, but the moment this pandemic is out, everything's going to be much better and will continue exponential growth. But one thing there's a huge change is the health, uh, healthcare system. It's going to take a new turn because, as I said, the healthcare system was going down, exponential growth of technology going the opposite upward, but now we believe that the healthcare system will go again, will go from the minus direction, the opposite of the uh, descending direction to ascending. That means we start to go symmetrical with technological advance. So remember, you are who you are. You are so unique. And you have the power to be part of the contribution of the greatest change that's taking place in this world. Never lose hope. Irrespective of the gender, irrespective of the age, what is your age? Never lose hope. Wake up. And I love this place because I, we could see here. Everything begins with an idea. So never underestimate an idea and never underestimate the power of you. Our role, our motto, we look at every person as a machine. You are a body as a machine. That is lack of the fuels. My part, what I have gained in my life, I want you to be part of this. Refuel your body. And remember what we always promote. Free, of course, we don't sell water, but we change life of people by telling you this hot water by change of temperature. It's amazing. It's miraculous. That's where your body, your brain, your cells, your immune system, every part of your body is engaged with all the four essential elements of life. Water, oxygen, hydrogen, energy. So think about your brain nervous system, the way you think, the way you adopt, the way you store information, and the way you put information into action. Have a wonderful day, beautiful world, and we do our best to serve you and serve the society because the more we serve the public, the more we achieve what we want to achieve. And building our two strategies, number one, clinical research studies on the effectiveness of aqua revitalize hot water. Number two, to build up wellness project, the 21st century healthcare system that will fully rely all natural, toxic free, and aqua is the one of them, is the main, the major, in the holistic health and wellness services that we try to move forward to do wellness project on different sizes, wellness centers, wellness resort and spa, wellness uh, organizations, wellness, uh, wellness uh, uh, cities, we try to do to build a very strong strategy here in the United States of America to make it a global to spread all over the world. Every part of the world we want to achieve there with the wellness project that we try to bring a new healthcare system. With your support, we can do it. We need your support. We need the power of the people, the power of the world population. Make use of this technology. Share with your loved one. And you're gonna be part of this great change that is taking place. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.